good morning from this little patch of private property. Um, <laughs> I guess. I had somebody come after sitting here for 20 minutes and, um, and ask me if I was okay. No, I told him. I really want to record a video about my car with my phone. It's pretty cash. Um, and honestly, I don't want to spend as much time or like as it always takes to like actually record, record the video. And then even without actually editing, it takes like two straight hours just to upload and correctly metadata tag like funny shit post videos now hang on we're telling more followers to join your video anyway i'm not going to talk about periscope because i talked about those in the two rehearsal broadcasts i did on other services wow this is share okay what anyway um, what are all these controls? Off connection, which has obstructed my ability. Ivy! Oh my gosh. That's the best thing that's ever, well, okay, that's this nice thing. I understand Instagram Live now, except when a friend joins versus Periscope, Periscope, you're just like shooting the shit. People came in and out. You're out to learn how many SD cards the car can carry. Okay, I better get on to that. Uh, loyal viewers, viewers will remember, uh, I bought a Jetta wagon diesel manual in 2019. Never thought I would buy such a dull vehicle. Uh, kind of bought it to make myself a more reasonable person. And naturally, uh, I did something so bad in it that my license was taken away for like three years and I just read it. Anyway, one of the things that I was very amused about in that car is that not only were like, I guess, system updates to the infotainment loaded by SD card, um, and it was just worded like, you know, just go get your SD card and plug it into a computer and not, it actually, it's not just putting a file on it. It is literally like turning it into a disk I don't think anyone actually updates the firmware in their in their infotainment system. One guy did, and it took him so long, and it probably just broke it. Anyway, and the other thing that you can do, oh, it's gonna is with SD cards, and I guess this is a universal fucking um, pushing button. GTI, but hang on, uh, gratifying. Oh, uh, it's gratifying. Uh oh. I'm unprepared for this bit. Radio, setup, sorry, I'm gonna get there. Station logos. Okay, so the the thing that you can, uh, my mom's 2019 Jetta, which is two years newer than this, it can receive over the air updates to its, to its infotainment thing, but it still has this thing, okay? This is a tool to, um, using a very specific and almost impossible, unless you have professional tools format, uh, you put your own images for each radio station in. Um, I love doing this kind of shit. I th I've tried it with my mom's car once and like thinking like, oh, I got GIMP. GIMP can do everything. I think there's like an actual GIMP XCF template file. You're supposed to put the images on there. And then you put the SD card in. I don't know. People love radio. I love radio. I'm going to do it. Anyway. So, both of those cars, both of those Jettas, had SD card slots. Each station should be a Rage Face. Because I can customize it, just wait. Okay, I don't wait. I guess pressure's on. Uh, sorry, can I get the... Well, both of those cards had the this oh, which is an SD card slot right I bet you've seen one of those 
what I had never seen and which I genuinely could not comprehend, and it took me actual days until, before I read the manual, had the chance. Um, I had never seen an SD card holder before. Uh, I just, okay, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do the spoiler, I'm not good at tension. The answer, Ivy, is that this car can carry, secured, I guess I should demonstrate. That one, like, is like the secret one. This is like the backup one. Who the fuck, like... The other thing that my mom's car does, and I think this one does too, is you can do a slideshow of images. So it doesn't actually, like, snap in there. It's got seven. It's got, like, including the SD card slot, uh, it has got a total of seven SD card holders, and what's in, like, the GTI is, like, a very, this is a Golf, um, well, I, I mean, you know, SD cards, like, <laughs> I don't know, I have to show you the, um, sorry, the little, the, uh, actual, uh, heading in the owner's manual. Whoa. Like, I legitimately, for a long time, I mean, I really like SD cards as a storage medium, and I guess that's back when I only thought, like, you know, images, files, but, uh, it is really nice, to be honest. It makes me very happy to do media playback. Sorry, I gotta focus. Hang on. Uh, oh no, no, I'm, oh god, I gotta find a storage heading. Storage compartments. Coin holders. I think it's in other storage compartments. Maybe I'd, yeah. Um, I honestly, I wonder, I have always been the only guy within, like, 900 miles that genuinely likes in reading oh yeah i found the heading can i zoom this is so much harder than it was on my iphone 4 um other types of cards like um holders Oh yeah, what I was tr sorry, what I was trying to say is like this is not like a weird special vehicle. In fact, like it's quite bland. It is the lowest trim of the performance I don't know, model. They switched it. GTI used to be a trim and now in America it is the only golf you can buy. Anyway, there I'm very my producer. Uh the diagram. And it legitimately, thank you for sticking with me, Ivy. It, all it is, like, it's actually really smart. Uh, yes, Ivy, you're, no, you're not stupid. It's just that I don't think that this exists anywhere else in the world. Like, the concept of needing to hold an SD card. They're so light and, like... There are no moving parts. They're tough. Um, I mean, I know that, like, if I've ever had more than one SD card in my possession at any given time, they're definitely loose somewhere, and they're fine. Uh, I, it's like... It's not even... Oh, yeah, one more thing. I actually did the math. I guess Instagram Live, when you schedule one, the minimum dis time between... Like, that you have to give advance is, like, an hour. So I've been sitting in here. Um, your wallet, yeah, so many places. Uh, honestly, I think the only people in the, like, in life that have any reason to have more than one SD card at any given time would be professional photographers. I guess, uh, it's probably outdated information, but I remember one anecdote, like, especially, like, fashion photographers, like, uh, 
they only use SD cards that are like two gigabytes or smaller. And the rationale is like, if you lose one, you know, you don't lose like a whole week's worth of work. You just lose like two hours. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been sitting here. Um, I've been rehearsing. I used to do this all the time on Periscope. I used to sit in my car for like four hours at a time. Granted, it was a much more comfortable car. Uh, it was a much quieter, like, more pleasant place to be, honestly. And I was smoking cigarettes. Also, it was Periscope, so, like, I'd have, uh, no exaggeration, like, 50, 60 people watching, and then, like, four people... Yeah, thank you. I miss Periscope so much. Anyway, oh yeah, so, I did the calculation at the, the most modern supported SD card playback media playback format that this car supports which is S S D X C uh at the maximum supported capacity which is 256 gigabytes per card uh oh god i worded it so well in text it, that's what took me most of the hour this car um has a theoretical maximum gross capacity of 1.8 terabytes of uh sd card bound media um and i'll be honest uh i've been joshing this entire time uh i've actually got <laughs> 14 at home uh set different sets and even though uh, those radio image logo images are like, I think the maximum file size is legitimately like 750 kilobyte, kilobytes, which is not unreasonable. Uh, they are all full of those logo images that I intend to be swapping out. Uh, yeah, two terabytes, and not just two terabytes, but two terabytes in 2017. And I say that this generation of Golf. Uh, so, so this car, you know, it's the Volkswagen Group is huge, and this is the seventh generation of this car. So, like, everything is very well considered, which means that, like, I don't know how many thousands of people had to, like, had to think about the fact that there were six SD card holders distributed throughout this car, and... I mean, there are things like, you know, the thing about necessity, this car is also supposed to be light. It's it's relatively light. So like, and just being like, I mean, we can't, we can't do with any less. Um, <laughs> we can't do with any less than six SD card holders. Thank you, Ivy, so much for indulging me on this. Like, I think you have given it more thought than anybody that I have, uh, I know it sounds fucking crazy. Dude sitting in his car Friday afternoon screaming at his phone about like, bro, oh my God, what are these? Uh, and it's just like a fucking regular Volkswagen hatchback. But um, I am based. Uh, I guess I had never, like, I don't think I knew that you could play audio I did, like, that it was just a normal thing, that you could play audio files off of SD cards, I guess from, like, the first spec, like, 1999, and I'll, so, like, that Jetta wagon, I mean, my last car was a 76 Lincoln, so, when I found that one SD card holder, this is the one SD card, uh, when I crashed the car and decimated it and had to be ta arrested, uh, and put in handcuffs, I forgot my phone, but the one thing I made sure to grab... <laughs> um, this SD card definitely came with the first Zoom H2N audio recorder I got in, like, 2007 or 8. Sim! Um, hey. Uh, what are the... Oh, so... Actually, the very first few moments in this car, these are corn holders, and I, this car is very disgusting um, because I just haven't had any time off. Uh, I thought these were SD card holders too, and I was like, oh my fucking god! Good morning! Um, 
it's it's so strange anyway thank you guys that was that was the most uh this is like oh yeah before this um when i parked here so the walton family um honestly i see it like it thank god that i sent i finally have a method of like structuring the tremendous burden that i have of carrying sd cards around i've had it for years thank god for this car anyway um that so not this fence immediately but that kind of fancy fence over there that is the walton's property as in the walmart family um and like so when i parked here which i had no way i don't know how i never spotted this place the guy that came and talked to me said there used to be a house here so uh it's not marked as a park so it's, it's not like there are no private property signs which people are very liberal about their use of right here uh so i literally was like okay i'm gonna sit here and see who comes and the guy came in his truck with his big hound dog just to be like i just wanted to make sure you were okay and that you weren't camping Uh, no, this is, um, God, I don't know, remember enough of the lore. This is Missouri. This is Columbia, Missouri. So, like, middle of the Middleist. Uh, God. I think it's, like, a cousin or something. Um, they're, they're kind of spread around. What's, I think is very funny. I'm, I'm just gonna pretend like that's a Walmart bag. Uh, but I mean, the guy that came to see me, unless he's like a fucking underlord, it was awfully prompt and he did come out of completely nowhere. I don't understand how he could have a line of sight and see that I'm here. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit too soon to just be like, oh, I was just driving by unless maybe, uh, maybe he's been driving by constantly. This car, dude. Oh yeah, the one more other anecdote. I the a rundown of me in the last two years. Um fuck. Uh I like through COVID was working for my mom and living with my mom in my mom's basement. And my mom and I, uh, my mom's a therapist. She runs a private practice out of her home. Um, and, uh, I, well, I basically thought I was going to go back to college. I did that for a semester and I forgot um, I tried to go to community college over Zoom, and I guess it's probably pretty predictable, but, like, somehow I let myself, like, there was this one English assignment that was, like, write one essay about something, and then I took that and ran, and I was like, you know what, I think I really want to write, like, a academic paper that you submit to a peer-reviewed journal about, um, I never figured out how to word it, uh, god, the fucking, like, saw, so, the way that Facebook is designed, like, the actual interface, dark patterns is the fucking term that people toss around for basically what I'm talking about, which is hilarious, because it's literally just, like, the menu items aren't left in the same place, anyway, I wanted to write an academic paper, and, like, I got super into Notion. This is what happens when you, like, have a lot of time on your hands, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I thought, I learned, I've learned, Ivy. Evil, yeah. I guess evil is just, that's really extreme. And in my experience, and I really did dig deep into this, uh, honestly, any sort of charge, like, the charge language just so quickly gets people so off track in such a way 
that like in my opinion the tangible actions like just not leaving things in the same place um uh just using facebook's website um <laughs> like no no clear direction to get between places uh basically and describing that as dark patterns i think is not constructive but um i mean i think that like the result is even worse like just thinking about uh back then god that was 2019 one third of the population of the human population at some point engaged with facebook uh, that's not facebook.com but like a facebook property every day two billion people um and like you know there are places where facebook is the internet anyway sorry i got way off track i was supposed to be going to community college uh but um i mean i honestly think that i learned i learned i had this misunderstanding which isn't just a stupid, I guess, delusional thing where, like, uh, I keep thinking that the purpose of, of education is, is to, uh, to learn or, like, I don't know, the purpose of a custodian is to clean. That sounds, I, I'm, Anyway, I did, I figured out that um, I should not go back to college. But what I was gonna say, Ivy, is that I have learned more in like the past three years uh, about like just really like things that I would actually need to know to have a technical job, um, and uh, I am like thankful that like th through a variety of people and experiences um that for me that's turned into like my aspiration is genuinely to be uh like the lowest level IT support um like uh god you know, it's hard for me to say things. <laughs> um, the kind of job where, like, legitimately 65% of your actual function is resetting email passwords. Um, I can't leave, Ivy. I can't. I am way too complic <laughs> complicit. Uh... I, I'll just remote. Oh, so, like, I am, like, actually, genuinely, uh, very willing, more than willing, would be grateful to spend 65% of my working time resetting email passwords multiple times a day. Uh, unfortunately... Honestly, my biggest obstacle right now is that I have never actually had to write a cover letter. And I, that weakness where I misunderstand, like, what the actual purpose of things is. <laughs> uh, I can tell you, like, the idea of a cover letter is really challenging. I can't write anymore. Um, and literally, it's just like... The best thing I've seen so far is what ChatGPT uh, generated for me. But what I want to say is, like, yo, I don't have any certifications. Um, I have, like, I don't know. I, I guess in 2019, I had a real support job very briefly with extremely toxic people and the like 
I don't know. I was not... I was in the worst... The least likely position to, like, actually leave a job um, because of ethical concerns. You know, for me, it was, like, it wasn't... It's just, like, I was tangibly... um, totally unnecessarily complicit in these guys uh, taking advantage of their small town relationships from like family and high school to rip people off in the most negligent way I've ever seen. I'm just beyond criminal negligence, like just uh, beyond comical, which is really what I learned. Like I was thought it was really funny that they were running windows, um, NT uh, servers on like its like city infrastructure was running on an operating operating system that was uh, actually declared like no longer viable um, in like two thousand four or five. Anyway, and just do like and I kept I really didn't understand them and they did not understand me. Um, but, uh, anyway, um, I really wish I could just step in for all the people. Like, I do interact with, with IT people occasionally. My girlfriend's, uh, two of her siblings have been in IT for the state for a long time. And, like, I can't do a dialogue with them. Um, but, uh. I really, I wish I could just step in for at least a sec and like take all that, the shit that's been burning them out, because I mean, I guess, I have like seven years of gas station experience now, convenience store experience, um, and uh, I don't know, I am like imperturbable, um. I think one of the, like, the most important thing that I've hopefully grown, I've hopefully become a little more emotionally intelligent, um, hopefully more humble. I don't know, but anyway, uh, I want to step in and, like, take that because, um, because I can, because... He's who, he's not a hero. He's a sim, sorry. I did watch Batman. I'm appeasing to the gener to the Generation X in you. But thanks for listening to me. I, that's like, I met somebody just in the most unlikely time in my life. Uh, the person uh, who is my Podna now um that's the well I genuinely appreciate that um one of the things I miss most about Periscope is how disruptive it was very active listening uh That's a skill. God. Oh, this person um, is really extraordinary. She is... uh, Well, I shouldn't talk about her. Just because I would just keep going. But, like... I legitimately... um, As of this time... 2021, I guess, uh, ha- was proud of the fact that I had come, I had finally, like, women are awesome. <laughs> I finally, like, let go of just that, it's not like it was all that bad, but, like, my compulsion or my distraction with pursuing, um, just, I don't know, 
uh, non-ideal relationships. Um, and I guess I was like, okay, I'm just completely free. And like, uh, I am post sex now and it's great. And I just don't have that. I mean, I just like, it, this is not an unusual story, I, but, um, I don't know if, if, uh, I re like was legitimately content <laughs> to just, to finally be like, let that part of my life go. Uh, it cost me a lot. Um, and like focus on being a value to people. Uh, and, um, I met this person who, uh, all the platitudes, Sex, ego, death. Thank you. That's beautiful. Um, I don't even, like, okay, I don't want to be, like, just, I can't articulate it, but basically, uh, I don't know. She's pretty darn incredible and the smartest person I've ever met. Uh, which woman that love? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, definitely have to, to work for it. I don't know. But, I mean, I'm just, like, I never expected to be excited about my future again. So, the, like, the past year and a little bit has been, um, I'm, I have definitely been exposed to Evangelion, but, like, um, it's been, like, It's been like almost a decade since I hung out with anyone who actually consumed before I since I've actually hung out with a person uh I will I might just I'm I'm also learning how to have like casual casual time um but uh Thank yeah. I Oh, I should say this because like it's relevant to you. Um I guess for the first time basically in my adult life, so the first time as the person that I am have felt like Lonely is not the word, but, um, I mean, I guess the best way to explain it is the actual, like, when TweetDeck stopped working on my iPad, legit, the reason it's like, uh, I guess it's like my pinned post now, um, I mean, I, I was mad about the Twitter thing and whatever, you know, uh, and... For, like I was so frantic for so long being like the solution is that I take my all my friend and we just go to Mastodon and I've just got to do all my put all my energy to that and that makes sense and is viable and um, if anyone's resistant to it it's just because I haven't explained it well enough uh sorry about that I but so yeah, there was a moment where like, like I was trying to document this way where you can you can put you can put TweetDeck literally as a TweetDeck icon on your iPad or iPhone, and it would open up as a web app. Um, and uh, you know, like before Musk, it was they were already planning on. Um, 
it's so hard to, if, you know, Twitter was doing a Twitter thing where they were like, tweet deck, we have to charge for it, uh, because it is by far, you know, the best, most powerful way that we have to interact with our service. So, but it's ancient money, uh, instead of whatever, they were just like, we gotta do it again our way. Anyway, the day that, like, there were workarounds, even after Musk bought Twitter, like, up until, like, I think I said September, like, like, the first of September or so, I was figuring out a way where I could push a butt, like, an icon on my iPad, and TweetDeck would open up, and I could see the friends list that you were on, uh, and there are, like, 250 accounts on there now, but, like, that friends list, it represents my whole adult social life, uh, and, like, I had felt like I had got, gotten away from it, but, like, having it accessible every time I looked at it was, um, I don't know, that's what I needed. Like, I guess, like, literally just, like, seeing stupid jokes, uh, I don't know what it is, but I do know that, like, I guess, whatever it is, it was very influential at a time where I was, you know, anyway, sorry, when I, I had spent, like, an hour trying to figure out what was going on, and I mean, you know, we're not talking about something that is, like, intentional here, um, realizing that uh, I could, like, the opt-out from the new tweet deck <laughs> talking about, was just, was broken, and it was broken in a way that I couldn't trick it, like, just tweetdeck.twitter.com, um, it was the first time that it just wasn't gonna happen, and, uh, like, I don't know. Um, I miss my friends is like the really simple way, but like people that I guess I haven't spoken to directly in a long time. Uh, I really wish I could exp like share this thing where I like read a chronological feed of, of these people's thoughts, promotional posts, shit posts, drama, um, yeah, a lot of people moved, I, I guess, anytime I looked at my friends list, like, I was trying to, uh, I'm so glad, that makes me very happy, um, that was, like, that's, like, the end, uh, like, the, that was the dream, um, the reason why I did, like, a big, I was, <laughs> did the extra tone thing is I was, like, what if I could start a company and it would just be all the creative, like, original creativity in all these people and, like, I could just pay them, um, generously for it, and maybe even we could have, like, uh, a home, you know, a home, um, I'm sorry, yeah, I, uh, but yeah, I cried, just, like, realizing that I couldn't get to that list, as, like, I've been preparing for this, like, daily, for years, <laughs> preparing for this, like, uh, and it's, it's honestly very well might be something that works right now, again, right, but, like, um, when I had to, like, talk to people, like, my, the people who are close to me, I've ne never been able to explain, I guess, in any meaningful way, 
what my Twitter friends represent to me, uh, which like, anyway, um, their advice has basically been like, you need to find a new group of friends. Uh, I can't, well, at least at the moment, I'm going to have, I have a lot of work to do before I can like maintain real in-person friendships. It's also like a cop-out. Like legitimately that friends list, um, especially when we were all, I don't know, so much of like what was posted, like when we were all younger was just like variations on like It's like the, the same reason when people complain, like, uh, shouting, like, um, <laughs> tweeting, I want to die, <laughs> tweeting, I want to die 70, um, explaining in a sincere, serious way how that helped me get through a tool store job, being able to pull out my Sony Xperia Play and, like, not expecting any, or needing any engagement to just be like, I want to die 70. Uh, and laughing. <laughs> um, but, uh, fuck. I... I also feel like, like, seeing that was really intimate, and, um, it's like a hack, uh, anytime people try to talk to me, they're like, you need face-to-face -face friendship, yeah, it is the, uh, an end of summer, I guess, um, Yeah, I, but I guess to be melodramatic, for me, I just, I don't know, was this a creature before I was socialized by the friend group that led me to Twitter? Uh, so, um, it's just the inverse problem. Or maybe, anyway, sorry, everybody's like, my real life friendship is better than your shit. And I'm just like, you are, I've, again, I've just completely failed to articulate what I'm talking about to you. Because, like, you're petty. I don't have any petty drama with these people. These people that I love and respect from a distance and I've never had to take care of. Uh, I've never had to, like, hold accountable uh, but I get to see that, like, their most intimate thoughts, um, in real time, uh, if, like, I guess to me, <laughs> what I'm describing is the absolute inverse of the overwhelming perception of what social the social web is now and i still am whenever like i just so desperate to share like um i don't know it's just it's like the best thing it has absolutely been the best thing in my life for like period for long stretches of time um and now I, but like, yeah, I kind of feel like <laughs> maybe it's time that I, uh, I have to earn friendship now. I don't know. I feel like they're like, regarding this, it's telling that we can have this conversation here. Okay, Ivy, thank you so much. I can't tell you how meaningful it is to me that I got to tell, 
like somebody that is on that list about that. Um, anyway, uh, stay frosty. Go to davidblue.wtf slash SMS. And, and, uh, trust the... <laughs> okay, bye, Ivy. Thank you so much.